Hey there, boils and ghouls. It's your friend Tara and Tats. I'm back with another video. Um, <clears throat> I know normally I just usually do like uh, 4K Blu-ray reviews, but I got in a couple of videos today from Severn, and uh, I just wanted to talk about them real quick. Today, Severn released two movies of um, Brigitte Leahy. Now, if you're not familiar, Brigitte Leahy is a French actress. Uh, she's mostly known for doing um, softcore, and I believe she's even done some hardcore French films. And uh, this, you know, Severn has started to uh, put out some of her movies, you know, on uh, Blu-ray. And one of them, they put out in 4K. I'll get to that in just a minute and why I didn't, why I got the Blu-ray instead of the 4K. But anyway, but uh, yeah, uh, just real quick, uh, Brigitte Leahy, she was someone that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting up there in age. I'm 45 years old. And uh, I, you know, I was old enough for the time when, you know, being, you know, a young teenage boy with raging hormones and, you know, you would, you know, uh, you would stay up late on the Fridays and Saturday nights and stuff and watch, you know, late night movies on Cinemax. And uh, that's where I ended up seeing Brigitte Leahy for the first time in a movie called, you know, um, Severn has since released the movie on DVD under the title Joy and Joan. But when I first saw it, it was Joy Chapter 2. And I remember watching it and just being absolutely blown away by Brigitte Leahy blown away by her beauty and and just you know just she just knocked me off my feet and just I've always you know just been you know enamored with her ever since and uh, I've been trying over the years to collect you know a number of her films I do have a few uh here lately I've been having to import some over from Germany which I can't show you in the video because you know the covers are not exactly family friendly and I don't think YouTube would go for that but um yeah, I have, uh, you know, I have, like, some of the movies she's done with Jean Roulon, like, uh, what was it, uh, Grapes of Death and uh, Fascination and, uh, what was it, uh, Night of the Hunted. I got some of those. Uh, I do have the uh, DVD of uh, Joy and Joan. Uh, um, but uh, today, anyway, we picked, I got uh, two movies. This one is Faceless. This is the one that was put out on 4K, and I didn't pick it up. I just went with the straight Blu-ray. And, uh, you know, there's the back. And uh, I used to have this on the uh, the Shriek Show DVD, and it's a nice upgrade. You know, you get quite a number of quite a number of features on here. You got audio commentary with director Jess Franco and actress Lena Romay. Lena Romay is another actress that I've been enamored with, and I've, you know, been collecting a few of her movies as well. And uh, the... Uh, Female Predator interview interview with actress Brigitte Leahy, um, facial was it recognition interview with Kim Newman, author of Nightmare Movies. Kim Newman is somebody I really enjoy his reviews, and just hearing him talk about movies and things like that. You know, I just I get a kick out of him. You know, it's like and uh, I do follow him on Facebook. Um, Parisian encounters face to face with actress Caroline Monroe. I mean, come on, man, yo, how can you not want this movie? You got Brigitte Leahy, Lena Romay, Caroline Monroe, you know, I mean, three goddesses, you know, damn. Uh, let's see, Predators of the Night interview with uh, Stephen Thrower, another, you know, critic, you know, who I love to listen to him talk about movies and stuff, especially like on the, uh, you know, if you ever get the uh, Video Nasties definitive DVDs, you know, like listening to them do the intros before the trailers, like, man, I could watch those for hours, and I have done it. Uh, let's see, what else? Stephen Thrower, author of uh, Murderous Passions, the, de def the Definitive Cinema of Jess Franco. I swear to God, I can talk. EPK interview with actors Helmut Berger, Chris Mitchum, and Telly Savalas. Uh, archival interview with Jess Franco. Archival interview with Chris Mitchum. Uh, selected scene commentary with Chris Mitchum. Uh, Therese to the Mission parody short starring Brigitte Leahy. French and English trailers. So yeah, I picked this up and uh, this was, there's the, got Brigitte there, looking kind of sexy but, you know, sexy but sinister at the same time. She's very much the villain in this movie. And there's the back of it there. And uh, I love, for audio, you know, all it says is English menu, French menu. <laughs> That's cute. But anyway though, just, uh, yeah, this is a very nice upgrade. A very nice one from the uh, Shriek Show DVD. And like I said, I know that this is on um, 4K and I didn't pick it up. But uh, the reason why is because honestly, 
this just, for me personally, now I'm not putting down anybody who bought the 4K. If you did, you know, that's wonderful. For me personally, this just isn't a movie I feel like I need it in 4K. And honestly, it's not, I've seen the movie before. And just, honestly, it's not worth 50 bucks for the 4K. You know, I didn't mind spending the $29.99 for this on Blu-ray. And had the 4K been that amount, I would have went ahead and just bit the bullet and spent it on that as well. But this here, like I said, I've seen this movie before. Um, yes, it's gory in some parts, but honestly, the gore is not the most, con you know, the gore effects are not really the most convincing in the world. And, you know, it only looks slightly more convincing on the blu-ray maybe it looks a little bit more convincing on the 4k i'm not sure but um still like just for me and, and kind of really the only reason i wanted to upgrade this is so i could have it for my brigitte Leahy lena romay collection and uh and just this is a movie i just don't really watch that often so it's like you know if i'm gonna spend 50 bucks on a 4k i kind of would rather you know spend it on movies that i know i'm gonna watch so but anyway, this is a really nice addition, even if, you know, you know, even just for standard Blu-ray, it is very much of an improvement, picture quality-wise, sound quality-wise, over the Shriek Show DVD, and I would definitely recommend picking this up, you know, and uh, who knows, maybe one day I'll come across the 4K for, you know, a much cheaper price, and I might decide, screw it, I'll go ahead and just upgrade anyway, but just for right now, I'm sorry, just this movie to me just isn't really worth um you know 50 bucks on 4k you know so but i have it is nice to have a nice upgraded high definition copy of it so so that's why i went ahead and picked it that up so um but like i said it's just not a movie i've i've only seen the movie just maybe a couple of times and it's just not something i really feel like i need that in 4k so that's why i didn't go for it but anyway so on to the next one this one didn't get a 4k release you know as far as i know this was just blu-ray release only we have brigitte Leahy in the Female Executioner. And you want to talk about, you know, amazing slipcovers? Check that out. Sorry, I'm not trying to be a pig, but just like, you know, there's Brigitte there, and she looks just stunning. Like I said, you know, I think you can understand why, like, you know, um, you know, I think you can understand why, like, you know, uh, it's easy to be just, you know, gobsmacked when you see how, you know, stunning and beautiful Brigitte Leahy is. And here's on the back. So... For fans who like their action with a dose of sleaze. You know, that was a funny thing, though, because like, even on here, on the back, you do get um, uh, you do get reversible cover art here. Let me show that real quick. Female executioner, you got the back, the spine. Okay, then you do get, uh, I think this is supposed to be the French version. There we go. Make it look more kind of, you know, like a you know big action movie and stuff. And it is, it's, you know, kind of an action movie and stuff, you know, but uh, anyway, so, but of course, you know, I'm going to go with, you know, the gorgeous, you know, Brigitte Leahy on the cover, so that's the one I'm going to choose, and honestly, I think uh, this is probably one, like, when I put it on the shelf, I'm probably going to put it on the face like this, you know, just because it's so nice, to look. unfortunately, that's the one downside, I think you can see the sticker residue that was on there, it's like, yeah, unfortunately, it had a big big ass sticker on there is like I had to take that off you know which that's fun but uh that was a funny thing though it was like in the mid to late 80s you know these two movies were meant to be Brigitte Leahy getting out of uh adult films and start getting into um this is supposed to be about Brigitte Leahy getting out of adult films and start doing more mainstream movies now you know it's she's very mainstream and faceless I mean you know there's no there's no nudity or anything like that. But this here, there are still moments of um, softcore action in this movie involving Brigitte Leighton. So even if, you know, it's like she's trying to get out of, you know, if this was meant to be her, her step into the mainstream, she didn't step very far, you know, because there's still quite a bit of, you know, softcore action in this movie. But um, still, it's a good, you know, it's a, it's a fun little flick. It's not, you know... The whole idea behind the story is that uh, Brigitte, she plays, you know, kind of a tough-as-nails cop. She's, you know, she's basically being kind of like the female version of cops you see, like Stallone or Schwarzenegger or, you know, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. You know, she's like the female version of those cops. Tough as nails, doesn't go by the book, does what she's got to do to take down the bad guys and all this kind of stuff. And um, the story is pretty much, 
you know, she, uh, you know, she she's known for going after like rapists and pornographers and things like this, and she takes them out. And this uh, this female pornographer, she's like a queen pin. You know, she she does porn, but she's also involved like in organized crime and all this stuff. Um, she doesn't like that Brigitte Lady is taking down her uh, you know, taking down her operations and stuff. So she ends up kidnapping her sister and forcing her sister into kind of basically like a, kind of like the human slave trade and things like this. And uh, it's up to Brigitte's character to fight the bad guys, work her way up, and you know get her sister back alive. So it's I mean, kind of your standard 1980s action movie plot and everything. But, uh, but yeah, the movie definitely has some sleazy elements to it. So, like I said, if this was her trying to go mainstream, she didn't stray away too far. But, uh, honestly, the transfer on this is amazing. It's like, you know, I can only imagine what this has got to look like in 4K. Because just on standard Blu-ray alone, this thing is just, it is going to knock you out. I mean, hang on, let me try to see if I can... Turn that around so you see the discard better. There we go. Hey, there's my phone. Hi. But anyway, so yeah, uh, this is definitely one I'm going to be happy to have in the Brigitte Leahy collection. And um, I hope this is something that we can look forward to. I really do. I hope that, uh, you know, uh, you know, Severn is going to start looking to, uh, they, they put out a book. Uh, I wasn't able to get it, but they put out a book about, her her career her movies and things like this and i wasn't able to get a hold of it in time and you know it went out of print i think so but um yeah i mean i am hoping that it is something that uh you know we could start looking forward to is we could start seeing more of her films make their way to blu-ray and or 4k um i'll tell you what you know hey severin you know here here you go put take joy and joan put that on 4k sell that for 50 bucks i'll pay for that but just you know but anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm very happy with these releases. Severn did a great job. The, the transfers look good. The sound quality is good. You know, it's like these are really solid releases, even if they are just standard Blu-ray. So I would definitely recommend it. They're worth the money, you know. And um, yeah, so like I said, I'm really, really hoping that we're going to be able to see more uh, Brigitte Leahy, you know, films coming to Blu-ray and or 4K in the future. So... So that's it, everybody. So, uh, yeah, if you're a Brigitte Leahy fan like I am, or if you're interested in getting to see her works, um, you know, I would say female execution are a little bit more than faceless, but, you know, hey, these are two movies to start with. So so that's it. So if uh, anybody took the time to watch this video, I thank you for doing it. I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like. If you haven't already, go and subscribe to my channel. There's going to be much more stuff coming. Uh, plenty of 4K reviews coming and everything. So uh, that's it, everybody. So take care of my boils and ghouls. Have a good night. See you later.